Hello and welcome to the fourth and last video of the series about my favorite Live 9 feature at the moment, the audio to MIDI feature. In the first three videos, I've shown you how to use the drums to MIDI, harmony to MIDI and melody to MIDI correctly and separately. And uh, the result we got so far is this. Okay, um, and in this video I want to show you that you don't necessarily have to use them correctly, but uh, misusing can be very, very helpful and creative sometimes. It might not always work out, but it's uh, sometimes definitely worth the shot. Um, and for this one I'm gonna first stop all clips, and then I'm gonna go back to the funny little man audio sample that we use to convert drums to MIDI. All right, so um, as you can hear, there's already some sounds in there, some harmonics. So uh, it'd be interesting to see what happens if we just convert harmony to a new MIDI track on this audio clip. All right, so as you can see, here we have the grand piano again, because that's what comes up when you convert harmony to MIDI. And now let's just play this and see what happens. Yeah, some pretty good free jazz. First off, we're going to loop that. And um, then I think I'm just going to get rid of some of the notes. Let's, oh, let's just keep them in for now and see what happens. Okay, and then I don't quite like the sound of the piano with it, especially because it's very free jazz at the moment. So we'll just go into the instruments and um, I've just decided I want to use a vibraphone sound for this one and just tweak that a little. Okay, so let's play it. Okay, and let's play that with the other set uh, with the other MIDI tracks that we created. Yeah, it definitely is out of tune, isn't it? Um, it's a bit quiet as well, so let's turn up the volume just a little bit. And then I can show you a neat little trick how you can try things. And uh, here you've got the scale MIDI effect. And looking at this track, let's fold it up. This could actually be C major, really. So um, there's no sharp notes in there at all. So um, then let's take the C major and just drop that in here and just play it again. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too much and what I had highlighted I should get rid of. And um, I also think what might be nice is a um, ping pong delay on it. Let's just take this one. All right, um, let's try. Maybe not so much feedback. But all wet instead. Okay, let's try again. That should be a bit louder still. Okay. 
and as you can hear it might not be perfect but it's definitely going somewhere especially if you tweak it a little longer and yeah that's it from uh, this series of video tutorials um, and I'll see you next time with a new subject or maybe a new series bye <laughs>